As a system administrator, we transfer lots of data from one machine to another. So while using Linux or Linux based operating systems, we are uh, offered two utilities or commands. And first of them is SCP. So what SCP does is it transfers the data from one computer to another using SSH, which means the data will be sent securely. So let's try using it. So this type SCP space the source directory in this case we are already in source directory so we are using dot slash and then the remote computer's uh, destination so username at the rate the IP address of the remote machine and then the directory to which you are transferring the data here we will be transferring it to a folder which is inside home So its name is move from Mac one and then a slash and now it will ask for the password of the remote machine. So we are entering it. Now as it says it's not a regular file. So what we need to do is we need to include a slash uh, a star asterisk mark. Now it will try to transfer all the content except the directories and we have lots of directories over in the, inside this folder as you can see so this is direct these three are directories and by default SCP doesn't transfer directories so what we need to do is we need to include hyphen R just before the source directory now it will transfer the directories as well so let's check it now it has transferred the directories as well so this is how we transfer the contents from one computer to another using scp so basically we type scp followed by hyphen r just to ensure that directories are also transferred from source to the destination and then the source directory so in this case we are already in the source directory so we just we are just typing dot slash and then a star star is uh, acting as a wildcard which means all the files or all the contents of this folder then the destination's username then an at the rate then IP address of the machine and then the destination folder and ensure that this destination folder is correct or else it will say that destination folder there is no such folder in destination so ensure that you already have a folder which has this name or any name you which you want so we have just learned SCP and in next video we will learn about rsync thank you for watching the video